Soil that seems lifeless can hide incredible potential beneath the surface. For centuries, Amish farmers have quietly relied on a method that revives dormant microbes in as little as seven days. This simple, low-effort technique transforms tired, depleted soil into a living ecosystem without synthetic fertilizers, chemical additives, or expensive interventions. Modern gardeners often overlook these methods, yet they offer a practical and natural shortcut to fertile, productive soil. The surprise is in how quickly the microbial activity ramps up, creating a soil environment that feeds plants naturally, sustains moisture, and supports healthy root systems. The Amish approach to soil fertility doesn't rely on chemicals. Unlike conventional practices that focus on feeding the plant directly, Amish farmers prioritize feeding the soil itself. Their method relies on natural inputs, careful timing, and layering techniques that optimize microbial growth. Organic waste such as kitchen scraps, green garden clippings, and shredded leaves forms the backbone of this approach. Occasionally, unconventional additions like a light sprinkle of wood ash, fermented plant extracts, or aged manure accelerate microbial activity, producing black, fertile soil in a fraction of the usual time. The key lies in balance carbon-rich materials, nitrogen-rich greens, moisture, and warmth. Why microbes awaken so quickly in this method? Soil microbes respond dramatically when their environment provides the right combination of nutrients, moisture, and aeration. Carbon serves as their energy source, while nitrogen supports reproduction and growth. Moisture and warmth create the optimal conditions for bacteria and fungi to multiply, breaking down organic matter into humus and plant-available nutrients. Conventional gardening often misses these cues relying on fertilizers that feed the plant but leave the microbial ecosystem dormant. The Amish hack restores this balance, essentially jump-starting the soil's natural processes. For raised beds, the process begins with layering. Start with a thin layer of carbon-rich brown material such as shredded leaves, straw, or cardboard. Follow with a layer of nitrogen-rich green material such as grass clippings, vegetable scraps, or green garden trimmings. Repeat these layers until the bed reaches the desired height. Between each layer, lightly sprinkle a pinch of wood ash or a small amount of aged manure to seed microbial growth. The ratios are crucial. Roughly two parts brown matter to one part green matter ensures the carbon to nitrogen balance favors microbial activity. Lightly moisten each layer as you build it, avoiding excess water that could drown the microbes. So this method can be applied right at the beginning of a growing season, or even as part of soil rejuvenation after a harvest. The way the layering works, it actually encourages microbes to move through the soil vertically, breaking down organic matter pretty quickly and improving soil texture and fertility in just seven days. In larger backyard plots or in-ground gardens, you can adjust the technique by using shallow trenches. Just dig trenches about six inches deep and alternate layers of brown and green material as described before. Then, cover each trench with a thin layer of topsoil and water it lightly. This setup encourages microbes to colonize the surrounding soil really quickly. One key advantage in backyard plots is that trenching helps control exactly where organic matter decomposes which reduces nutrient runoff and concentrates microbial activity right where your plants need it most. For ongoing maintenance, just incorporate seasonal organic waste, like pumpkin scraps in the fall or grass clippings in the spring, into these trenches. This kind of continuous feeding sustains microbial populations and ensures a long-term fertility boost, all without needing synthetic fertilizers. Even in container or raised planters, this method can, you know, be adapted. You'll want to chop greens and browns finely to prevent compaction and promote airflow. Then, mix these materials with just a small amount of mature compost and layer them lightly. After that, top it all with a thin layer of mulch, like straw or shredded leaves, to help conserve moisture and protect those important microbes from temperature extremes. It's really critical to maintain a damp, but not soggy, environment. The soil should feel kind of like a lightly wrung sponge. Microbes in containers actually respond even faster because the controlled environment allows heat and moisture to stay consistent, and you can often see results in about a week. By day 7, gardeners should notice distinct changes. The soil darkens, 
developing a rich, earthy aroma rather than a sour or rotting smell. Small worm activity may become visible as the ecosystem reawakens, and the texture of the soil should feel loose and friable. These changes indicate that microbes are breaking down organic matter, creating a fertile medium ready for planting. Plants grown in this revitalized soil will benefit from improved nutrient uptake, better moisture retention and stronger root systems, all without additional fertilizer. Unlike chemical fertilizers, which provide nutrients directly to plants but can reduce microbial diversity, this Amish-inspired approach feeds the soil first. Microbes process organic matter, releasing nutrients in a form that plants naturally absorb. This creates a self-sustaining ecosystem, reducing the need for repeated fertilizer applications. Over time, soil becomes richer, structure improves, and the microbial population stabilizes, providing ongoing fertility without further chemical input. This hack can be scaled for small garden beds, large backyard plots, or even community gardens. During hot seasons, ensure layers are slightly deeper and mulch is thicker to conserve moisture. In colder seasons, protect layers with straw or leaves to maintain microbial activity. Organic material substitutions are flexible kitchen scraps. Green weeds, shredded newspaper, and straw all work. Aged manure or fermented plant liquids can accelerate activity, but the balance of carbon and nitrogen is the key factor. With repeated use, the soil essentially regenerates itself, creating living soil that supports crops year after year. In just seven days, a soil that seemed lifeless can transform into a thriving ecosystem capable of supporting abundant plant growth. The Amish soil hack proves that centuries-old wisdom still holds remarkable power for modern gardeners. By layering organic matter correctly, maintaining moisture and using simple accelerators, microbes awaken, humus forms, and the need for synthetic fertilizers disappears. This method is accessible, affordable, and practical for raised beds, backyard plots, and container gardens alike. It's a natural, time-tested solution that combines simplicity with extraordinary results. Hydrohaven is committed to bringing these practical, evergreen gardening techniques to life. Try this hack, watch your soil awaken and subscribe for more innovative soil and composting secrets that every gardener can implement.